Example 2, x plus t over x squared minus 1 multiply with x minus 1 in partial fractions. Alright, so let's identify what is the denominator here. Okay, what is x squared minus 1? It is quadratic factor. Okay, for quadratic factor, you have to check and it can be factorized or cannot. But that is our question marks. And how about our x minus 1? x minus 1 here is our linear factor okay so here we will start with first we need to check the quadratic factor okay so our quadratic factor is x square minus one okay as i said earlier you have minus you have square there so you can just rewrite it as x square minus one square there okay because we have the hint and we have the standard form that um, we, uh, we can change it or we can expand it the factors okay uh, to be as x plus 1 multiplied by x minus 1 okay so here our conclusion is you can factorize okay we can factor next step is to change the equations into form that we can factor okay so what do you change actually you just change for this one okay so you have 3 over so we don't write as x square minus 1 okay we want to write it as our uh what do we say as our fact factor okay as it can be factorized so we have uh, the new equation uh, the new denominator here okay let's look at the denominator here can you see any similar form here yes you have x minus 1 here x minus 1 here so we just uh, complete our equation with the final form which is x plus 1 x minus 1 square okay and guys let's identify back our denominator all right identify because our step is depend on what is our denominator is okay here is our linear factor and how about this one is repeated linear factor as you have square there so that's mean here we can use type 1 and here you can use type 2 in order for us for us to find the, our partial fractions okay let's start to find our partial fractions by using the letters uh, okay the latest one that we find you have x plus one you have x minus one square so as we said earlier our first step is uh, let's rewrite the equations okay let's rewrite the equation you have x plus one you have x minus 1 because it is type 2 remember we start with power 1 and then power 2 and because we have 3 you will use a b c okay next one um you equal the denominator all right we equal the denominator that means you will multiply with uh, another uh, with another linear factor so that we can equal the denominator so for this one you can do it by yourself so at the end you will have 3 is equal to a x minus 1 square b for b we will multiply with x plus 1 x minus 1 for us to equal the denominator so b we have x plus 1 x minus 1 and c we have multiply by x plus 1 okay so here is our equation okay that we equal the numerator okay we compare the numerator as we have the same denominator okay our next step guys we substitute the value let's use our first factor we have x minus 1 so you will substitute x equal to 1 so at the left hand side you have 3 Okay, x minus 1, 
uh, it be at zero uh, at a so we get zero how about b do you have x minus one yes you have x minus one there right so b also have zero how about c you don't have so c okay multiply by two so at the end you get c is equal to three over two okay so this is our first factor let's use another factor another factor is x plus one okay so you will substitute with x equal to negative one so at the left hand side we have three a do you have x plus one with a no so you have to substitute the value negative one minus negative one is negative two power of two at b do you have the factor yes at c do you have the factor yes so it will be zero so a is equal to three over four wow okay next one uh how can you find the value of b okay guys how do you find the value of b do you have another linear factors that you can use no you don't have okay but you can uh, just using try and error okay try and error so let's look at our equation you have three and for try and error we will just use the value that we have earlier that we got earlier okay three is equal to three over four um what which value that you want to use i would rather choose as equal to zero okay it's easier so a we already substitute x we get zero we put zero okay how about b we don't have zero means here you get c we have three over two zero plus one you get one okay so as you can see here you can find the value of b so three equal to three over four minus b plus 3 over 2 so here you get b is equal to negative 3 over 4 okay try to do this one and you get the value so you get a you get b and you get c okay again this is not the final answer yet let's go to our fourth step okay we start with the our new form of equation we have x plus 1 x minus 1 square okay this is the original equation so this is our single fraction and you want to write down it in form of partial fractions okay let's rewrite the denominator first i'm sorry let's use the same page <laughs> easy for you to look at Okay, now let's put the value of A. Okay, uh, be careful here. The denominator here is X plus 1. Okay, X plus 1, you have A. So, look at for A value. Okay, so our A is... Okay, our A is 3 over 4. Here, please put bracket. Okay. Next one, you have X minus 1 x minus 1 is your b value let's look at for b value our b is negative 3 over 4 so here your b will have will be negative 3 over 4 please put the bracket and the last one uh, you have x minus 1 okay with c so let's find the c value okay so C comes with 3 over 2. So, plus 3 over 2. Okay, so, as you can see here, this is our final answer. Okay. Uh, for this one, you can rewrite them as the original equations. Alright, x square minus 1, multiply with x minus 1. Or you can just use like I write here because you already shown here. Okay, uh, because you already shown here. Okay, uh, guys, just don't be confused on my arrangement. Okay, I want it to be on at one page as you can see here. Let's look back. Okay, 
you have a quadratic factor and linear factor. For linear factor, just leave it be and we charge our quadratic factor. When you check the quadratic factor, it can be factorized. So it's good. When it can be factorized, just change the original equation into new form. Okay, but it still have the same meaning. For the new form, you can see that it has, uh, the new form has a relation with another linear factor. So because it has relation, we have to change it into the new one. So you got 3 over x plus 1 multiplied with x minus 1 power of 2. Okay, so starting from here, you know that you have one linear factor. Another one is repeated linear factor. Linear factor means type 1. Repeated linear factor means type 2. Okay, this is what I'm talking about at our intro for this uh, video. Okay, for part quadratic factor that can be factorized. Okay, at this question, you have linear factor and another one repeated linear factor. Okay, remember for linear factor, you will just put A. But for repeated linear factor, you will put S, B and C as power of 1 and power of 2. Okay, next, we equal the denominator, okay, by multiplying with another factor. So, you can get the same denominator. Okay, guys, look at here. You have the equation from the numerator. You compare. And our third step, you substitute the value. So, you have two values here and you get C and A. Okay, but for B, you can just try an error. By using the value C and A that we just found just now. And you can be... Okay, this is not our final yet. Just rewrite them in form of single fraction equal to each partial fraction. Okay, please be careful with the denominator. What will be its constant? Okay, don't be confused here. Okay, jangan tertukar. Okay, so that's it. Sangat senang. Okay, untuk quadratic factor yang boleh defact factor. Okay, our type 3. Okay, later we will look at quadratic factor that cannot be factorized. Yeah.